Torres Diaz. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Good night's sleep had at the Airbnb. Yeah. Uh, we're right in the centre, which is absolutely lovely uh, in Seville. So we're heading towards the Alcazar's? Alcazar. Alcazar. Yeah, straight over. This morning. Um, let's just get run over. Um, we're heading down to the Alcazar this morning because it's going to be 40 degrees plus. So uh, everything we're doing this morning is going to be uh, before the heat sets in this afternoon. But it's a beautiful sky. Tell me about it, Lou. So Where are we? We're in the um, Alcazar, which is the main kind of palace complex in Seville. So it's like a thousand years of history and Islamic architecture and then Castilian royals and like all of the names of Spanish history. So it's really exciting. Here we and go. it's hot. And it's warm. <laughs> yes. It's a warm day. Gorgeous. This is so pretty and such a bargain actually because it was 14 euros I think for each of us. We booked it all online beforehand, got a timed entry which made it much quicker and you didn't have to queue to buy tickets and in this heat you don't want to be queuing for too long. So I think we queued for about five minutes. But yeah, it's well worth it just to visit the garden. It is busy though so if you want to take photos with people not in them, you need to probably come really, really early or really, really late because even at 10 o'clock, is it? Yeah. Even at 10 o'clock start, it's heaving. Although, actually, once you get into the gardens, everyone spreads out. But yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Where do you fancy going now? Cafe con leche. Cafe con leche. We haven't had one yet today. <laughs> Welcome to Seville. What are we eating, Lou? It's like rhubarber sponge with sweet cream in between and then something on the top which is really really sweet that I can't quite place but it's just really nice I don't care. It's so good. Okay right we are going into where are we going into? This is the archives the general archives of Seville which is where um, they have a collection of documents which is 10 kilometers of bookshelves long and it's things around the conquest of the Indies and um, general trade and stuff like that. But you're looking at Christopher Columbus and that kind of period. Some quite dark times to be honest. Okay. And also, our thinking behind this, on the basis that it's currently around 40 degrees centigrade, is that it's air conditioned in there. And also it's free. So we're going to have a look. I don't know if we can film in here, but um, let's see. Central, wasn't it, in discovering the Americas and all of that? And this is where the archives lay. Wow. So, if you're a book nerd like me, this is like. Oh. 
<laughs> Modification of a demarcation line dividing the world between Spain and Portugal resulted in the birth of Brazil. <laughs> What's your first impression, Louise, of Seville? Mm. It was really beautiful. Really beautiful. Sort of more modern than I remember Granada being. Granada was more of the tiny little back streets and sort of old feel, whereas this is a real mix of tiny little back streets and more modern. Yeah. It's lovely, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. What are we going for, Lou? Spinach with chickpeas. These, Lou. These, were These are sheep's cheese croquettes. Did you just say sheep cheese? Sheep cheese croquettes, yeah. Okay. And then these are, this is pork cheeks with mashed potato, I think. Ooh. No, it's amazing. And that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh. Mm. 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 <laughs> They're amazing, aren't they? Oh, just the right kind of salty. Oh, perfect. So, we have got baked goat's cheese with honey and orange as well, by the looks of it. Um, with some little, uh, little toasty bread. Give this a go. It looks amazing. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> It's warm, creamy, and then the honey and the orange is just amazing. Perfect. <laughs> right, one thing to make sure you have on your phone is Google Maps. Or, no, I would disagree with that. If you're, this is the kind of place you just want to get lost, but we just want to get back to the accommodation at the minute and have a little siesta because it's getting really hot. But yeah. normally speaking, I would say launch yourself into these little streets and wander about, wouldn't you? It's just too hot to do that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 40 degrees plus. Uh, we've had our lunch, um, which means that our bellies are full. Um, and I've had a pint and a half of beer, so uh, now is the time for me to uh, digest you. that food. And the big thing I love about this is actually the traffic just coming down the streets. They are so close to the pavement. You could touch the driver. Look at these. Hey, here we go. Oh, squeeze in. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. Anyway, impression so far of Seville? Love it. Buenas tardes. <laughs> it's about seven o'clock in the evening. It's still 40 degrees centigrade. <laughs> yeah, it's really warm. But we have managed to grab ourselves a little siesta. Um, and siesta by we mean uh, UK siesta, which means we've had a little nod. Um, anyway, so we're off to a food tour. Yes, really exciting. It's our first ever food tour. Yeah. Okay, so we're in our first stop, which is what? La, La Sacristi. La Sacristi. Yeah. And um, so we've just met our guide for tonight, which is Maria. Maria. So Maria's just at the bar, she's up there, she's ordering. Lucky tonight, it's just the two of us. Yes, we've got a private tour. So we have a private tour tonight, yeah. So we get a lot more out of tonight's tour. So we're having a white wine, I think, with a cold soup. Yeah. And croquettes. Or hay, I'm not hungry. Or hay. We'll see in a minute. We're not sure, it's going to land on the table in a minute. Land, no, the olive yeah. oil, the bread, the ham, mm. the tomato mm. is American, but really <laughs> came from nice, America. Yeah. 
Oh, that's lovely. That's yeah, really gorgeous. nice. So good. Nice. Okay, so how was your first tasting? Oh, amazing. So we've just had croquettas, we've had um, a type of cold soup, and we've been learning about tapas and how tapas came about because actually the government was a bit worried people were drinking an awful lot of alcohol. I think 100 years ago, 200 years ago? Yeah, it wasn't that far ago. It was 100 years ago, maybe. Mm. The government were getting concerned that people were drinking too much and it was getting quite heavy, and so they brought in a, a bill, an edict, that meant that people had to have food with their drinks. Um, and tapas comes from the word for the cap of the bottle to stop the bottle. <laughs> stop drinking so much. That's yeah. what the effect it was. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Hello. Mm. And then you can choose one that you like. Mm. So the biscuit itself is very sugary, olive oil, mm. yeah. And then on top of it, you've got avocado, avocado cream, cream, cream. That they say that is not the same than uh, guacamole. They <laughs> insist it's in, a cream. <laughs> it's a cream from. Yeah. Our, so it's then, smooth. You can see it's smooth. And this breaking forever party. <laughs> Am I allowed to use my hands? Yes. It's <laughs> Better technique to take right, excuse me. Everybody has it. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It is good, I think. Mm. To me. So, this is a sardine on the top of the toast. And then sprinkled on the top is a kind of a, kind of a beef fat, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's. Um, the thing is a marmalade of tomato that they say also that Ooh. it's not a marmalade, it's like a cream of tomato. Like a cream of that tomato. That smell, it's just hit me then. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yay. Mm. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's amazing. So it's oxtail on top of uh, focaccia. And it's so tender, it's really nice. <laughs> Best off. Really enjoyed that one. That was nice. You can go to top only by rims. So there isn't any elevator for sure. Uh, <laughs> any step, any yes. stair, just ramps. Because supposedly when the, you know what is a muesin? It's a person yeah. who was dedicated to call everybody to pray. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe to this person was too much going five times per day to the wall. Blah, blah. So he did, he used donkeys and moons. Oh to ramp to go to the top and there are still many ramps to go to the top. Oh, wow. uh, it happens often. This looks like the sponge I had this morning. Ooh. So, so mm. civilian, especially in Holy Week. So we've just finished our food tour and we ended on a rooftop bar overlooking the cathedral and the tower and it was absolutely beautiful with a glass of Prosecco, Rosé Prosecco and a little dessert. Amazing. Yeah. Really good food tour. Yeah. We'll put the link below. Yeah. Um, so it's Maria from Pancho Food Tours. So thank you very much, Maria. It was thank brilliant. Thank you, Maria. Yeah. Um, and we'll link her Instagram as well. We will. So we're going to wrap up now. It's about 10 o'clock, which is way past our time, bedtime, if you've watched our Camino videos. <laughs> if you haven't watched our Camino videos, make sure you go and watch them. Link above. Yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And we will catch you tomorrow when we're doing the Jewish Quarter. Yeah, and the Cathedral tomorrow. And the Cathedral tour. Bye. <laughs>